shall we say, for a variety of reasons, that sweetness and that kindness is tarnished. It, it no longer can generate goodness to those around them. It doesn't happen. It just, and it's, it's not only the... You can't blame the young people for lying. Look at their teachers. Oh, of course. Read Absolutely. my lips. No new taxes. They weren't born that way. Yeah, I didn't, have, I didn't have sex with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. I smoked, but I didn't inhale. Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction and ties to Al-Qaeda. And when I get elected, I'm going to bring you change you could believe in. Yeah, how about a change of a penny? Do they make anything that low? Maybe he was saying chains for your legs, yeah. if you can believe it. So, so, you know, it's not the kids have good leaders to look to well, for who liars. Are they, who are their role models, for exactly. God's sake? Exactly. So you can't a, blame the kids. A drug-addled pedophile is deified? <laughs> yeah, he may have been great at one time. But he lost it at the end, you know. He lost and then it. you look at all of these these little weasels in the media that spend precious hours of our lives time rather than talking about mm -hmm. the slaughters that are going on in the world that the American people are paying for. They divert our attention with the Michael Jackson distraction. Well, they perverted our attention is what they did. I mean, they're up at, I understand, I don't watch it, I don't have television. But I hear that, uh, and, and they were all there at 5.30 in the morning. I mean, they treated this as if a king had died. I, I don't know any I king know. who has ever died that has commanded the kind of attention that this guy did. And he when they talk about, and that's what we're talking about and writing about in our Trends Journals, is that this is the fall of Empire America. And you don't have to, and the Americans love, the only, the only point of reference they have, of course, is the fall of the Roman Empire, forgetting about all the ones that fell after that, including their cousins, the English over there, yep. you know, the pinky in the air folks, you know, the right. ones that are oh so proper, but boy, do they have a record of slaughter going on around the world. You know, they have a great track record. Matter of fact, Maybe when you talk about vicious. bank bailouts, yeah. yep, yep. you know who the biggest bailouts of the bankers were? It was the English yeah. when they, when they, when they well, stopped slavery. There you go. Well, listen, you're right. You could, I think an argument could be made that the English are the, the, the most vicious killers and most demented killers on the planet, going back in the totality of their, their so-called modern civilization. No, I know. The hypocrisy. Yeah. And so American people are paying for the death of innocent people as they support the war in Iraq, which is fought, as we were told, by President Bush... Defense Secretary Rumsfeld, Donald Rumsfeld, Dick Cheney, mm -hmm. Wolfowitz, that Saddam Hussein, and and seconded by Colin, Colin Powell. and Col what, what what did Harry Belfonte call him? The, oh, I the, forget. Yeah, there was something about the you know the, the slave that worked in the uh, in the yeah. kitchen, you know, in the in the plantation, so they get good treatment. And all of these people that told us a lie, whether or not the lie was real, we should be able to find out. But the fact is the American people are guilty in killing innocent people and the sadness that pervades throughout all those people's lives because they've been killed for unfounded reasons. And when you have a society like this and refuses to face the immorality of it, the only thing that could happen is bad. And we got plenty of bad folks. We, we've killed in Iraq and Afghanistan between 3 and 5 million people, by the best estimates I lend credence to. And for what? For what? Oil and gas and natural resources and a, and a pipeline that is really no longer needed. You That's got right. it. You added it up very quickly. Yeah. It's, so, uh, anyway, that's the way I feel tonight. Yeah. Belafonte said, there's an old saying, in the days of slavery, there were those slaves who lived on the plantation, and there were those slaves that lived in the house. You got the privilege of living in the house if you served the master, exactly the way the master intended to have you serve him. They used to call the house darky, uh, whatever. That was what Belafonte said about Colin Powell. Powell now tries to say that he knew what he was mouthing was probably wrong. 
But it didn't, this is it, what I'm talking about. This when is, you die and the last breath that you take, that is hell. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this Robert McNamara, he should have been hung a long time ago. Oh, I, uh, that arrogant, arrogant piece of junk. The human being of slime that ruins so many lives and they lionize them. Yeah, I saw it. I cringed. I'm repulsed. But that's what happens when you have a, a corrupt and perverse controlled media uh, which deifies these people again, these murderers. They're just mass murderers is all they are, and then some. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad world, folks, but you aren't necessarily bad people. And unless and until you individually begin to reach down and reconnect with that goodness that you're all born with, and most of you, I think, make a good effort at doing that, we don't have a chance and the fear, again, is so...